Hi everyone. This morning when we were doing our lesson, I promised you guys I would read the entire book of Fancy Nancy Explorer Extraordinaire because we only read part of this this morning, the part about butterflies, right? Since that's what we were studying. So this is Fancy Nancy Explorer Extraordinaire by Jane O'Connor and the pictures are by Robin Priest Glasser. Bonjour everybody. Welcome to our club. Bree and I love to go exploring in the wild. We collect leaves, watch birds and butterflies, and ins inspect insects. If you're like us, then you can be an explorer extraordinaire too. Love, Nancy. Bree and I are the founding members of our club. That means we started it. So far, we're the only members. Freddie and my sister really want to join. We say maybe. First, they have to prove they are mature enough. Mature is fancy for acting grown up. What does an explorer extraordinaire need? Essentials, long sleeve shirt and pants, so ticks can't get you. Notebook and pen for writing field notes baseball cap or sun hat, not essential, camera, binoculars, lace gloves, magnifying glass, glamorous sunglasses, rusty, Frenchy, little maracas for when we feel like dancing. Just because you're exploring doesn't mean you can't be fancy. I almost forgot the most important thing. Every club needs a clubhouse. It's absolutely essential. Here's a map of our territory. That's fancy for the places where we can go. Rule one, we only go exploring in our backyards and Mrs. Devine's backyard. Bree's house, my house, our clubhouse, Mrs. Devine's house, and this is Mrs. Devine's garden. Rule two, nobody in the club thinks bugs are gross. That's just immature, which is fancy for babyish. First, we look for insects. Insect is the real word for bug. All insects have wings, antenna, and six legs. We see an anthill, so we sprinkle some sugar. Voila. Here come the ants. Ants love sweet things. Me too. The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. Rule three, no touching, just looking. Ants live underground in a small group called a colony. Freddie wants to help the ants get back home, but that's against the rules. The head ant is the queen but she doesn't have a crown or anything fancy. She just lays the eggs. What do you call a 100 year old ant? Antique. An antique is some, a fancy word for something that's really old. We see lots of flies by the garbage cans. They zoom around so fast Brie can't get a picture. Yeah. Flies can walk on ceilings because of sticky pads and tiny claws on their feet. I observe, that's a fancy word for watch, a ladybug on a leaf of a tomato plant. This ladybug has one black spot on each wing. Once I saw a ladybug with black wings and red spots. Mom says it's good luck if a ladybug lands on you, but club members do not think this is scientifically accurate. Ladybugs eat insects that are bad for plants, especially ones called aphids. Ladybugs I have seen. I like, like how she draws them if she can't get a picture. My sister is pointing at something. It is a spider. In the web, there is a dead bug. My sister says, yuck. But we explain that this is just part of nature. Spiders eat insects that are pests, like flies. You probably think spiders are insects, but guess what? They're not. 
They have eight legs, not six, and no wings or antenna. Exploring in the wild makes us very thirsty and hungry, so we need to stop and have refreshments. That's fancy for a snack. We do some research now. That means we read about what we've seen. Bree's book says we saw an orb spider. Here is a photo Bree took of it. And spiders are called arachnids. Rule four, crying is not allowed unless there's a very good reason. My sister and Freddie fight over the last cookie. We tell them if they want to go with us to Mrs. Devine's garden, they'd better stop. Mrs. Devine's flower garden is full of butterflies. Brie and I adore butterflies. I took these pictures, a monarch butterfly, giant swallowtail, and red admiral. Rule five, we never catch butterflies because they are fragile. That's a fancy way of saying they get hurt easily. Many people don't think butterflies are insects because they're so pretty, but guess what? They are insects. Plain caterpillar, even plainer chrysalis, fancy butterfly. All butterflies start from an egg that turns into a caterpillar. The caterpillar spins a cocoon around itself. The scientific name is chrysalis. I think that word is so beautiful and fancy. And when the chrysalis breaks open, voila, there's a butterfly. I will probably be a lepidopterist when I grow up. That's fancy for a scientist who studies butterflies. Lookalikes. It's a butterfly or it's a moth. When butterflies land on something, their wings stay up. When a moth lands, its wings stay flat. When you, you see butterflies during the day, the word for that is diurnal. You see moths much more at night. They like to fly near lights. That's called nocturnal when they come out at night. Butterflies have colorful wings. A lot of moths have plain brown wings, but some moths can be a little bit colorful. Butterfly hunting ensemble. I went to a butterfly farm once with my grandparents. If you go to one, here's what you should wear. A hat sprayed with a little perfume to attract butterflies. Bright, colorful clothes so the butterflies think you're a giant flower. Part of Mrs. Devine's garden is for wildflowers. Wildflowers grow all by themselves without any help from people. You don't have to buy seeds or anything. Lots of wildflowers have such fancy names. Forget-me-not, lady slipper, foxglove, queen Anne's lace. Oh no, look what Freddie and my sister did. They picked some flowers without asking. That is strictly against the club rules. Mrs. Devine is not mad, but we are. Neither of them can be in the club. They're not mature enough. Lunchtime, my mom takes my sister and Freddie home. We go to Bree's house and after lunch, we will check the bird feeders in her backyard. Maybe some birds are having their lunch. You can make a bird feeder too. This is a pine cone bird feeder. You just need to put peanut butter all over the pine cone and then you can roll it in a mixture of cornmeal and bird seed. And then you can tie a string to it and put it up in the tree. Or you can do a cookie cutter bird feeder. You can use a piece of stale bread that you can use a cookie cutter to cut out and put a make a hole in the middle with a straw, put some yarn through it, and then you can hang it in a tree and the birds will come and eat it. Bree may be an ornithologist when she grows up. That's a scientist who studies birds. What makes birds special? Birds are the only animals with feathers. The fancy word for feather is plume. They also have light, hollow bones. One of the reasons we can't fly is because our bones are too heavy and we don't have wings. Today we see a robin and lots of sparrows.
Why do hummingbirds hum? Because they don't know the words, he he he. It starts to drizzle, so we go back to our clubhouse. We pretend not to see Freddie and my sister. We read about hummingbirds and learn many facts that are fascinating. That's even fancier than interesting. Hummingbird, the official bird of our club, they love red flowers. So far, we have only seen hummingbirds at the zoo, but they're still our favorite birds. Why? They're so petite. That's French for little. And their wings are iridescent. That's a fancy word for shiny. How petite is a hummingbird? Without feathers, most are the size of a bumblebee. They can take a bath in a leaf. A nest is the size of a walnut shell, and their eggs are smaller than jelly beans. They flap their wings up to 200 times a second. Amazing. They don't hum. A humming sound comes from their wings beating so fast. Rule six, we don't pull leaves off trees. Trees need them to make food. The rain seems to be stopping, but we wear our raincoats anyway because they look so chic. That is French for fancy and fancy for fashionable. Goody, the storm last night has knocked off leaves for us to collect. I'm practically a leaf expert. Trees whose leaves fall off are called deciduous. I love that fancy word almost as much as chrysalis. All the leaves here come from trees in our backyards. Ginkgo leaves look like fans. Mrs. Divine makes tea from the ginkgo fruit. This is maple, honey locust, and elm. Trees with leaves that don't fall off are called evergreens. Evergreen, get it? The leaves look like needles. Christmas trees are evergreens. Don't you love their wonderful aroma? That's fancy for smell. Evergreens all have pine cones. Once I painted a big one gold and glued on glitter. Gorgeous. You can make your own leaf crown by cutting pap a paper crown from a piece of construction paper and make the strip of the crown long enough to go around your head. Tape the ends together and put some glue on pretty leaves. Glue on glitter, tape or glue on the leaves. Voila. Self-portrait, that's a picture drawn by me of myself. Bree and I hear Freddie and my sister calling us. They found something, something exciting. Wow, they found a baby robin. It's fallen out of its nest. We can see the nest. The mother robin must be frantic. That's fancy for very worried. We call my mom and she knows just what to do. She puts the baby back in the nest. Now it is safe. My mother explains that some animals won't care for their babies after a human has touched them, but birds aren't like that. Hooray for mom. My sister and Freddie jump up and down. Please, please, can't we join the club now? Even though they broke some club rules, they did find the baby Robin, which is the most exciting thing we, we observed. So Bree and I take a vote. It's unanimous. We both vote yes. We make official cards for the new members. Just like us, they are now Explorers Extraordinaire. And I hope you guys are able to get outside today and explore in your environment also. Bye.